Uh, mop off. All right, so next year no, we got to move the bunk over a little bit because this yeah. one yeah. is centered. And I put those on and for the last month, no snakes. Oh, good. Because they like to go up the ladder. Yeah, right I've had a few on mine. See, yeah, what we'll do is we're going to move this approximately two inches that way. Okay. And we're going to move this back cradle uh, maybe an inch and a half that way too. Okay. The front ones are okay, that one's okay. It'll, it's fine. We'll remember now because yep. we got it on yeah, video. I need some. <laughs> <laughs> so we took it in. When we put it on the trailer, we backed the trailer down, Dad. Yep. Backed it down, and then you drove about halfway onto the trailer. And then, then I back up. And you go forward on the boat, and it made it real easy. It centers itself. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. We got it on and video. That's how we do the real big boats too. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> like Bill's boat. That's oh boat. yeah, that thing is oh, so heavy. heavy. Yeah, do it three times. Brian put the motor back down yeah. to let the water drain. Right. So we need to remember that yeah. too. Keep the motor down. Yeah, that tire is just a little bit low, isn't it? But Okay, what we want to do is turn the motor right and tilt it, so... Okay, okay, so this here is your oil drain. Okay. Alright, and it, usually what you want to do, what I do, is if you pick it up a little bit, and you want to see if the steering's loose, see you can turn it, mm -hmm. and then lift a little more, and that kind of gets that point down. Right, so the oil will run out this hole into a bucket. Okay. Yeah. I think I remember that from last time. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll, uh, we're going to make it taller. Okay. Go ahead and put, let's put your tarp down if you got some, or I got some. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Yep. And then, uh, okay, well, yeah, and then what you do, you yeah, have to once you get the top off, if you have a piece back here, just pull it back, and that releases the. Uh, Top, okay. Just lift up and move the front out. Okay. All right. And then uh, here's your oil filter right here. Oil filter. Okay. And, then, and here, here's your engine oil. And usually they got another. Let's see this motor. It's got another place to pour the oil. The oil oh, here, filter. Here's where you, right here. And here's where you add your oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, make sure we know that. Okay. That's where we, we add the, the yellow, oil. Yellow. Yeah. That's where we add the oil. here for tools. Well, I got some tools in here. Okay, let's see. Yep. Like if you need a big yep. screwdriver, you can yep. screw Yeah, well, we don't need that right yet. What we're going to do is we're going to start bringing I feel like the progressive commercial. Yeah. 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 How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see if we can find a couple sockets here. The one will have this. What size is that one, Ryan? That's an 11 millimeter. 11 millimeter. Yeah. Record it. It is. Okay. It's on film. 11 millimeter. Now. You want me to hold right that? There, it's going to... Because with the wind blowing, mm -hmm. all right, what's going to happen is that oil is going to shoot out. I don't know exactly where it's going to go. Okay. So, 
Okay, so it comes flying out of there. Notice my hand positions. Yeah. I'll put it over here. I've got some paper towels in my box, which is right in here. Well, it doesn't look that dirty. You're catching all the oil, so you're doing a dirty job. He likes to show dirty jobs, so maybe. You like that show? Okay, get, get under, get under, get under. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try to tilt it just a little. Okay. Well, hi, buddy. Hey, well, hi. Sadie. 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 We, sh we should have brought Roscoe over here. Hi, come here. Sadie. Sadie. Okay. Come here. Come here. It's all right. <laughs> He's a friendly guy. That's Matt. He's a good guy. Come here. Come here. It's just me. Oh, I smell. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay. No. Well, get the score. Get See, the this Matty is cleaning all that. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. Go ahead and set the bucket down. We'll just let. We're it filming this so we can remember next year without having to bother him. Hey, you're ruining the video, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm finally. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come in peace. Where's the squirrel? <laughs> All right. Now you can pull the you can pull the oil filter, right? So okay. grab your. Uh, yeah, one I of would you... grab the, that one right there. This, this one? one. This one. Okay. Yeah. I knew one of them didn't work very okay. well. Okay. And what you want to do? <laughs> okay. Righty is tidy. Uh -huh. Lefty is loosey. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is kind of grab it like right there, get a big grip on it, and be careful. You got wiring right here, and just turn it to the left, and it'll break loose. Now what you want to do is have a have a rag with you, oh. and I'll show you why. I've got it over here with me already. Okay. Because when you pull it out, it's gonna, yeah, as it starts coming off, it may drip a little bit. I usually put it right under the catch. Grab me another towel out of that box over there. And it's off, and it's dripping right into my rag. <laughs> okay. And then you can just dump the oil that's in it right in there. Okay. Brownies? Brownies. Yeah. Nice. Sure it's yeah. <laughs> 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 Whatever cheap towels you have. Yeah. Will work fine. So, all right. So, all the oil is out. So what I would go ahead and do now is let's grab your filter. Okay. You got a new one? Yep. What kind you got, Dad? Got the old Merck four-stroke outboard oil filter. 35-8-M-0-1-6-2-8-2-9. Hey, but the numbers are the same. That's a good sign. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> Okay, now, we, now this is, <laughs> my dad always taught me that when you uh, change these filters, there's an O-ring on here, all right, mm -hmm. and it's just, put oil on that, right? Put just a little oil on it, so just pull that O-ring out. All you do is just kind of dip it in some of your old oil. Okay. Clean it off a little bit. And then push it back down in there so she seats good. Make sure that o ring is nice and flat back down in there. Bark, barks and runs away. Yep. 
one last good. So I'm going to get one good one in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That looks better. Yeah, make sure the O ring's back inside the nice and tight. filter. Nice and tight. Yeah, nice and snug so that you don't want it bunching when it comes out. Just make mm. sure it's good and sealed. And it is. And then. And then uh, put, you know, where I put the rag in here while we were okay. messing that way because it's still dripping oil. You don't want it. Now what will happen is it will run down here and get into the, you know, the water compartment. But it's okay. it's not going to hurt anything. But And then just put that back on. And then righty tighty. And then what, what I usually do is get it on to where you can feel it seat. Now right now it's seated. And then give her about another three quarter turn. So if I can use that wrench, tight, hold that, snug her up just a little bit. Okay, that's Snug. good. So she's good, right? That part's all done. Okay. All right. Now, we can go ahead and lower this down. We can go ahead and put that plug back in. Now, on these plugs, don't you see something? See this right here? See that little yellow thing? Oh, yeah. That's, that's like the seal. Washer. Don't okay. let that fall off. Mm. Okay. See that little yellow seal? seal? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. You need the. Yep. I, I think I laid it over there. Oh, I see. How quarts of oil this motor takes? Um, usually we put three in. Uh huh. And <coughs> so um, at the store they only had the. the and you just want to get that good and snug. And then go ahead and clean it up. So here's the next decision, Brian, that you're going to make. Oh, okay. Who's that? <laughs> I have the four-stroke 2550 synthetic blend. Yeah, I use synthetic. Or in. I've got the four-stroke uh, 10W30. I use 25. I use the 2550 in mine. Uh, Whatever you recommend. Uh, is that what? What's that? What you got, Tom's? It, it, this is what I've been putting in it. Yeah. Okay. Well, but they didn't have just the the yeah quart size. So okay, I'm okay. Let's see. Okay, I will tell you there is a label up here that should took uh, on the motor. A little lower this down. Oops. Oh boy, we're gonna find that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go on the blooper reel. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't. Oh. I, oh, yeah. I know. I was like, don't spill that on your driveway. <laughs> okay. What we're going to do is see. The uh, girls think you're buying shit. Sometimes they put a little label up here. Right videos here. on how to do things around the house. Yes. Uh, Grand Guy's my... fix it shop or yes. something. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you'd be making, that'd be your retirement on YouTube right there. It's just, because literally people, I just watched a video on how to winterize my 350X mm -hmm. MCX engine on my um, Mastercraft because I'm not going to be able to. most important is making sure you don't leave any water in it that could freeze. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, you know, changing oil and doing that kind of stuff, you know, it's kind of important, but so it don't sit in there dirty all winter. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, that's not the... Yeah, it's running the antifreeze through the... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, three liters. Okay, I'm going to show you something. You, you, you get, climb up here on the ladder. All right. And there's a black label. You should be climbing up here, Dad. Okay. See this right here? All right. You see the oil capacity? But you got the camera. <laughs> yes. It says three liters. Yep. So that's how much? Three liters. Three liters. So how much is in it? It's documented. That's probably 3.78 liters, so we don't need all this. So uh, we'll, we'll dump. Okay, there we go. Uh, there's one liter left, so we'll put, we want to be 
if it's 3.78 liters, we want to leave about that much oil left in it. In it, okay. 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 All right, and I got. So it. here you go, buddy. All right. Uh, got your got a funnel. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't try with all. Okay. Well, what you gotta do is you gotta take this off. Okay. <laughs> I get purple. Jeez, that thing. Come on, Dad. Yeah, I can get Where's your forearm strength? Well. Nineteen eighty-five. Yeah. I lost. I lost <laughs> it in about the end of the seventies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you ran a YouTube channel on everything you know, Ryan, you'd be a millionaire by now. Well, I just did a big one. I should have. Well. Yeah, no, just raise the I, I just rebuilt. Down. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tilt it up just a little bit. That way, it kind of helps. Right. Yeah. Now sit, fit that in there and see how she looks. I tell you what. Let's see if mine might fit just a little better. Uh, oh. right down in, Brian. Oh, let's see if this one will fit in there. Yeah, but here's the thing: when you're dumping that oil, it's going to want to right up on you. Why don't we use this one? Okay. And shorter get, spout. Uh, yeah, it's got a shorter spout. So. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put that so we don't drop that in you all. We got to find our... All right. Now, so I'm going to put you on a ladder because you're going to pour that oil in there nice and slow. Now here's the trick when you're pulling pouring oil in. Yeah. It's got to get air behind get it, it to flow. Oh. oh. Okay. Another thing is you always. <laughs> yep. You always need a knife. Okay. All right. Good so work, we're going Dad. Down to take it. Take yes. it down. Just take about. Oh, just down to bit, about right there, and way. then we'll check it. Okay. And uh, see how she looks. Okay. Don't fall off the ladder, Dad. Yeah, it's even now. Well, if I do, it will hurt. We'll, ha we'll have it on video so you can. <laughs> say a prayer, Dad. There I go. Yeah. So what? What did you say? Try to just pour. Yeah, just kind of let it flow. You'll see if it's. You just don't want to spill it over the. Sometimes you have to take a break and let it go let it in. Get, let get, it get in. Down. Okay. It's like the gas. Yeah. Not backing up, so that's the funnel's bigger. That's it, that little bitty one. It, it would yeah, back up on you. you got a lot more to go. No, I don't want to see where it is. Just a little bit more, right? Yep, yeah. You want, you want to take her down about, yeah, a little more than that. Yep, yeah. I haven't been able to get my boat off the lift for two months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Michael, just... the, the last time they were out, was it close? Michael, they had they had a bunch of people in the boat. Normally, they just get in, lower it, and go. Well, mm -hmm. they got in it and it wouldn't go, so they had to get out of it and they could get it off. Yeah, and Pushed then we, yeah. Okay, yeah. See is it going below this go, one? Yeah, go go. No, the one. I remember it says three liters. So you're okay. working. The, you want to be below the other, the one on the right. Okay. So. Yeah, so you want to, there's three seven eight in there, so take her down about right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't want them. I think that right should have been left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little more. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, a little more. I thought I had it that time. I was pretty proud of myself. Okay, stop right there. Now I'll set on the ladder and see how she looks. Yeah, I'll let sit, so it sits flat. Oh. Uh, nope. It's not really flat. No, okay, it, it needs a little more. Yep, okay. keep going. Don't shortchange it, Dad. No. Actually, that's pretty good right there. Okay. So oh, now, okay. okay, we're going to put the plug back in it. Now, here's the thing. When you check the oil, it may be a little bit high on the stick because when you start the motor, what oh. happens is it's got to fill up the filter. Okay. So that's not done yet. So we're going to put the cap back in it right here. 
and then the oil change is done. I'm going to lower this down and usually what I do is wipe everything off and that part's done. So, okay. Okay. Now here, now here, over here, mm -hmm. there's your dipstick. There's our dipstick. Yep, so let's see where she's... Okay, there's two little uh, dots right there, and one of them will hold oil. You want it. You want the oil somewhere in that middle. Okay. Usually, I would I would like to see it a little more than half of it right now. Okay. Put it all the way back. We'll remember that. So if you look at it, it's perfect. Because see, it, it's right up here to the top. Mm -hmm. It's not any higher. When you start it, it's going to go down just a little bit. So it's right where it needs to be. Okay. So the wall's changed. So the, uh, the next part's the one that worries me. The what is it? Oh. Okay, so that part's all done. You clean it all up. We got to clean this up down here a little bit. Okay, let me move the ladder. Yeah, and you can go ahead and shut off now. You want to wait for the next. Dumping out the old oil. Yep. No, actually, I'm trying to get that socket I dropped. Oh <laughs> yeah. We're supposed to watch. We'll edit that out. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll leave it in. <laughs> He's like, is that food or? Yeah. Is that something I could drink? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. There, there it is. is. I see it. I need a stick or something it. to get it. I'll get it. Need a towel to get it. Let's see. Yeah, we can look that up on our phones here. See what the capacity is. I, it, I would like to know. Well, I can tell when I... Um, it starts coming out, right? Because you should put it in from the bottom, and then it goes out. Okay. And so, it's going to be what it's going to be. So. What's nice is you don't have to take your prop off to do yours. i got to take my prop off. Oh, do you really? Okay. Let me do this. Let me get my lube. Carry on, boys. Come on, baby. <laughs> All right, there's... Uh, it's got some lube left in it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Got your big screwdriver. That's for the gas. Not much. Oh, time. that's for your fuel. Fuel. I mean, that's yeah. stable. Uh, do you know about how many gallons you got left? If, do you ever put that in just when you're running? No. Okay. You can put that in. I would go ahead and put it in. Okay. Uh, you, how full are you? It was at a uh, quarter. Quarter. You yeah. know, you could almost. What I'd almost recommend is going ahead and taking and filling it up, and then uh, go buy sea foam. Uh, I don't know how big how big is your fuel tank. Do you know what how much it holds? Um, usually, See, like I'd say about twenty. Okay, well, you can get a sixteen ounce can of sea foam. It's about nine or ten dollars. Stable works too, but a lot of marine use of sea foam, mm -hmm. and that's what I we put on ours. It's in a white can. Okay. Uh, I don't think I. And you just. What, spray it into the gas tank? No, no, no. It, you just pour it into the gas tank, in. just like the stable. Okay. And, uh, but it, you, they give you a recommendation for how much you put in. Based on how much gas you have? Yeah, yeah. we're at a quarter. It, usually it was at a about, Which is probably in this boat about five gallons. It's vented, and uh, as it gets hot and cold, you make it a little moisture in the tank. And mm -hmm. if it's full, it won't do that. Oh, really? Right. Okay. True. So. Yeah. All right, so here's your screw. And gas prices will probably be higher next year yeah, than they are now. <laughs> so fill up now so you can have gas. Yes. Yeah, well, you see, we got, we got a 14-gallon <laughs> roller there, and then we got another one behind the wheel. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. So we got 28, and Michael. And His the, boat, yeah. Oh, man. It takes a little. They through 28 gallons oh, yeah. a day. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, Well, Brent, and when Brent and Marcia... And Martha and I, we, we, when we used to ski, we'd go down Lake Waveland, we'd go through 100 gallons a weekend oh with gosh. his boat. Jeez. We'd buy 100 gallons every weekend. Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not using that much. Yeah, so. Well, and, and, and the reason why is, I mean, you take your run and you park. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, you know, like, it, it, it's like you're not stuck on the lake where you're just going to sit in a boat. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing anything, you're going to sit on the deck and watch all the other ones. Yeah, exactly. Okay, get your uh, your pan over here. 
Oh, the, the oil pan? Yep. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump all your lower unit oil out of it. Okay. It's actually gear lube. And uh, one of the most expensive parts of your boat is right here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that section right there, uh, it costs as much as that part up there. <laughs> so, mm. And so what you do, all right, you've got on yours, I see three, you got two vent plugs up here at the top. Yep. Right? And you got one drain at the bottom. So what you want to do, and uh, you can do it in any order, but I would probably take the... Uh, Take the vent off first, or, or take the bottom off first. That way it pours slow. Then when you take the top off, it'll it'll go a lot quicker. Yeah. Because yeah. so I, I can tell you, when you do this on windy days... That's it goes everywhere. everywhere. Now, there's O-rings on this too. So you want to be careful when you take these off that when you put them back on, you got to make sure you got an O-ring. Okay, see that little yellow O-ring on there? Mm-hmm. So that's a good one. Okay, it's start. Okay, see where the wind's blowing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I said this will make a big mess. <laughs> so. Hey, can you, uh, up there is a, a wooden block in okay. that, that kettle. I'm going to raise this a little higher. All right. Yeah, so it catches it Yeah. quicker. Because the wind will blow this two or three feet away from the boat. Yeah, just grab one of them blocks and we'll okay. slide under it. Now, when I take the top one, it's going to pour a lot quicker. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, there it's coming quick. Here's the block. Okay. Hmm. All right. There we go. All right. All right. Same thing on this one. See the O-ring? Mm -hmm. So, bottom right. Here's another bit. That O-ring started to come off, but it's still good, so we're good on O-rings. Okay. So you're good to go there. Can you get so, O-rings at like auto yeah. parts stores? Uh, I I don't know if they have them. Um, the Marine stores will carry them. Tom like will have Tom them. would have them. Yeah, or go down there to Reader Roush. There on if you did you have you been down there? Oh well, yeah, Matt used to have. Oh, clothes. I tell you what, they got they're expensive, but they got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. They are expensive. Yeah. They kind of shut the door on Matt because he didn't buy his boat there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they said, we're getting so busy, we just service boats we sell now. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what they, they sold hundreds of boats. I mean, they had, they are probably the fastest growing boat place in Indiana. Jeez. Yeah. Sounds like we should open a boat place. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we're going to have this video now, so we'll be able to do this yeah. for people. The outboard 50s. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a lot of them. EFI. I'm going to do my boat. So you're just going to change the oil on it? What, I mean, what's I'm just, all you going to do to it? Uh, we're going mean, to run antifreeze through the engine block. Yeah, you just want to make... That's the, the biggest thing. And you through the ballast. you got to do the ballast, right. too. Yeah, because so that, that ballast, I mean, the hoses down mm -hmm. there along the bottom, yep. you've got to get those. Uh, yep. That's where it's tricky. Yeah. Now, the other option... Fog you, the engine. Yeah. Um, stabilizer in the fuel. That's it. I'm going to get a big old tarp to put over yeah, the put lift. Over it. Yep. Okay. So... I mean, we tried to lower it, what, two weeks ago, and it wasn't even close. Yeah, it was about an inch of water on the hull. Oh, really? All the way down? Mm -hmm. All the way down. Oh. And that was two weeks ago. Yeah, and it's dropped prior. Some another. don't make sense. Was it, yours, I didn't think yours, you had a little more room, but do we need to lower your uh, <sighs> boat lift? Oh, can you do that? Yeah. It's hitting the ground. Oh, it, is? it needs to be in deeper water. Oh, okay. Do you know when the dam started to leak? Oh, it's it's le it's leaked forever. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it always leaks. 
there's a minimum flow on that valve there that lake they're supposed to I mean you're always going to seep some the dam's going to seep a little bit a little <laughs> so this needs to stop running before you, you it's not going to go through two quarts well I didn't say anything because yeah I, you'll be lucky but the guy said you're going to need a little bit more than one and, and I thought this what year I've is done this, this 10 years what and, year is this uh, we bought it in uh, 2011 so it's a 2011 Bennington. Yeah. Well, we'll do the motor. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, yeah. 2011, and that's a, a four 60 horse. 50. 50 horsepower EFI. EFI Bigfoot. <laughs> Was it called Bigfoot? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what, that's its. That's. Nope. Record that. Up just a little bit. I am spinning the prop to speed up. Just to kind of, kind of get the loop going. Out. Get the loop going. Right now, it's slow, and it, and when it gets cooler, it's slower. Uh huh. So. Hmm. And then, of course, it's cooler. All right, here we go. Let's see what the capacity is. Just twenty-four. Twenty-four. Oh, that's not even a whole. Not even a whole bottle. So you got some for next year. I know. I've watched you. Uh huh. Many. Yeah, we always had a little left over. Yeah. Now we know why. So we'll let one go. bottle. We'll so you can have the net, net, the other one for next year. That's right. It will last, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Eighteen bucks. Yeah, the Rotella. I got. Remember, I got way too much of yeah. the fifteen W forty yeah. that goes in my boat. You can have the rest of this if you can use it, Brian. No. I got plenty of used motor. That. Okay, I usually put that up, pull it down, pull it up oh, tight, okay. and then this is where she gets tight. And you just pull this down, and then you take this Velcro and put it over like that, and it's good and tight. Okay. All right. There we go. So I pull this down. Strapped in. Yeah, pull it down. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's the tricky part. You got to grab this little metal clip and pull it, push it down with your thumb, real hard. Okay. Until it clips. Oop, that released. This is grab a cantaloupe. Okay. And. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a... Okay, what do we got here? 80W90. Okay, SCE. got it. Yeah, below 75 horsepower. Okay. Oh, that's on there too. All right. Yeah. Let's see your little... I always do a dry fit with your little tool. Bring it over here. We okay. Can, I want to make sure it threads up in here. What you want to do is thread that up in that hole, just like it was the plug. Raining again? Yeah. Gosh. Come on, baby. There we go. That's going up in there now. Okay. So that's going up in there. So you push it all the way in there? I get it up till it halfway stops, and now. It's ready to go. Now it's going to have some air in it, but and then just go slow. So I can see this part next year. Is how did Brian get this in there? We got it on film, Dad. I know, but, but we got to do it. Well, so. I'll get you a pocket knife for Christmas. Okay. Yeah. I'm talking about the screwing the yellow thing in. Oh. Okay. We can do that. Let's see. I always do a fit like this because sometimes if these are too long, you can't get the lid on. Oh. So this one's fine. So you screw this on. And then as you pump it, if the pump's still good, you'll see your... Uh, Just siphon little, in there? No, it'll push right up in there from the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill it from the bottom up. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. And then just... Kind of, I kind of go slow, that way it can kind of work itself up there. And then if you watch here on the side, mm -hmm. you'll see it starting to go down. Okay. And we're just going to keep pushing it up in there slow. Now you want to know where your plugs are. Remember, we laid them up here. These are the two vents and this one here is for the bottom. So okay. once you get them going up at the top, I usually put the vents in first. That way when you pull the plug, it won't, your grease won't, or your lube won't run back out as fast. Okay. 
Okay, is she going down? Not going very fast. Yeah, no, it's going. You can see when it goes up, it yeah, it's dropping slow. And you will see when it gets up at the top, you'll see it start to run out these holes. Yeah, It'll we'll run out this it. one first because it's a little lower, and I'll plug that one first, and then I'll keep pumping until it goes out that one. Okay. And then we put in a few ounces. See that right? Mm -hmm. That's down to there already? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can't see from here. He just wanted to sell me $18 more. <laughs> yeah. So I can get it. And then another thing you want to look at is you see the 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 lube that's in it, mm -hmm. it if it had water in it it would be a little different color be maybe you'll see some white milky in there that gear lube is still dark and heavy mm -hmm. so it's it now it's not clear that's because it's it's kind of been it's been you know worked in with the gears but the good news is it's not wet you don't see water yeah. sitting on it right well there's a seal up here, and when that seal goes bad, if it starts getting water up in there, you need to get that fixed. So that, and they don't last forever, but this one's still good. Okay. Yeah, it looks we like we've got about sixteen. We've got summer. about sixteen ounces in it. Oh yeah, it's about half. Almost half. What did we say it was? Twenty-two. I think it was what it looked at. Yeah, because this is. Yeah. Okay. I said this one was. Now I'm going to have. 32 ounces for the whole bottle. Yeah. I'm going to have, if you want to slide over and keep pumping this okay. real slow, okay. I'm going to have this vent plug, you know, because then when it comes out here at the top, I'm going to plug that one vent. Here you go. Just nice and slow. Getting tighter, isn't it? Yeah. Our boats take their pontoon out, right? No. Uh, well, that's what uh, uh, we were talking with over there. Uh, he and I were trying to figure out when to get. He's his. He's missing one of his trailers. Mm. His pontoon trailer, and the one we used to pull Dick's boat wasn't in the yard. So he don't said, "No, okay, stop, stop. Okay, you're good. Get ready, pump it again. Look okay. up on top. See the. Oh one. yeah, leaking out right there. Okay, give it another pump. Another pump. Okay. Okay, that was it. Give it another pump. Nice and slow. Stop right there. Give it another pump. It's a two-man job. Yes. Okay. Okay, we got that van. That's huh? why this one worried me. Cause... Okay. Now, I'm going to grab some paper towels. Then we're going to get right to the bottom. Put that plug in. Thank you. Okay. All right, now. All right, got the screwdriver. Got my plug. This is where it gets real messy. We're done pumping? Yep. Okay. Well, for, for right now. You can see right now, this is holding. The, now, what you want to do is you got to unscrew this, and then at the same time, you got to put your thumb over the hole. So it's going to kind of let that come around. Keep coming. Yeah, okay, put my thumb over the hole. Shove the plug up in it. Got okay, that. Did you see what I just did? Yeah, that's your part. Yep. You're doing the lower unit, I'm doing the upper unit. 
All right, see, and it's all in there now. Now let's clean it up, kind of make sure nothing's leaking. Wow. Make sure we had everything on it. Yeah. That's part saw. All lubed. Uh, I so it. what I would do is take this off and give her one more shot back into the bottle like this. Mm. Let it run downhill. That way it's a little not quite as messy. And then, uh, here you go. Put the cap back on. Yep. Good. Yeah, well, we're going to need that, that can because we're, we're not going to reuse that. What we're going to do is we're going to dump this in there. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you got there. There's your. Yep. So, and it looks like we put in the proper amount. <laughs> nice. I think we've got 22 exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then usually I'll go back over it one more time and just make sure all the the plugs are plugged. Plugs are plugged and tight. Okay. 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 And we are done. Nice. Thanks, Brian. So we just put it in this spring and. Crank it? Yeah. And you're good to go. Okay. All right, so let's do this right now. Okay, we're going to need your little funnel as well, so we'll need to mark it or something. All right. <laughs> Don't get it mixed. Yeah. Mixed up with your good one. Now, ones. see, there's a little water in it. See that little white? Mm -hmm. See that little white in there? That's just a little bit of moisture that leaked through that, that drive shaft. Hmm. So it's okay. It's not bad. That should all go fit in there. Going down. And you can see where it's going back up. And it's going to put it right back in the bottle where it was. Take it out. Yep. Here you go. Okay. And then, uh, here, I'm going to take it, we'll take it over here in the gravel. I'll pour a little gas on it and clean it up. Okay. This is the old bottle, so that's trash. All right. Okay. Yeah. And now, yeah, don't put this on video. <laughs>